All right, Dr. Darian is back now taking a look at some of the questions that our viewers are sending in. And here is one question from Nora, our producer, can flying with while sick cause eardrums to burst and what can I do to protect my ears? This is a very important mm -hmm. question because I have the same She's one. asking this question because this just happened to mm -hmm. her. And it's very common. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why when you're taking off or landing, you hear a lot of children crying. It's because they're having similar symptoms often. Their ears can't uh, equalize. And unfortunately, when you go up in the air, the pressure increases and then that pain starts when that equal Equalization can't happen, and then that causes pain, swelling, and you know sometimes a really bad headache. But for me, it's when the plane is starting to land, yeah. it's both. and it starts yeah. to get worse, and you're like, oh, I just can't wait till we're on the ground. It can be going up or ascent or descending, and so there are some important things that you can do. Number one, you know, making sure that you're not sick. If you get on a plane where you have a really bad sinus infection or what an if ear you infection, have to get on the plane? it's really <laughs> like a, us, um, honestly, it's time. a time when I'm evaluating patients in the emergency room. If it looks bad enough, I will literally tell them you should should avoid flying for the next couple of days until you get this under control. Mm. Also, just in general, some people anatomically are more at risk. Uh, that's why children, for example, suffer th for this more than adults. And then also, it's some certain conditions just increase your risk. And so when you're flying, making sure that you're equalizing that pressure, you're yawning, you're taking, you're swallowing, drinking water, that can Nasal help spray. equalize that pressure. Decongestants can help. And also staying awake and doing these things when you're ascending or descending. A lot of the times we want to take a nap, just hoping it goes away, but it can get worse that way. And you we're saying the nasal spray could actually help you in this scenario. The decongestant nasal spray actually helps in this scenario. You want to use it sparingly, of course, but I think this is one of those moments where you can and it helps decrease the swelling so that you can decrease the risk of you having those that yeah. the painful symptoms. Because that was really so, traumatic for Nora. She came yeah. off the plane rattled because she was in so much pain when we landed. And sometimes it can lead to permanent injury. Uh, you know, can my ears burst? That is rare, but you can have tinnitus, which is that constant ear ringing. You can damage your eardrum and you can even have worse symptoms. So you can def you should definitely pay attention to pain. Uh, your prescription for wellness. Mm. Ah, emergency room <laughs> wait. So we were talking about this oh, yesterday. Yes. What to do when you're waiting in these emergency rooms. Waits seem to get longer and longer and in many cases they are. So here are some important things that I always remember with patients. First, make a list of your medications, your allergies and your primary contact person. I always tell patients you can laminate it or put it in one of those sheet protectors so that you can always bring it with you. It can be easily cleaned and shared. Next, make sure you have your pharmacy phone number. Uh, I often call pharmacies when I have a patient who may not know about their medications or their doses and it's always listed with your pharmacist so it helps us to be better educated and always bring a phone charger you're going to be in that emergency room for quite a long time so you want to make sure that you have your phone your tablet or anything else you need charged and folks we would love to hear from you so hit us up with all of your medical questions at abc gma3 well hey there gma fans robin roberts here thanks for checking out our youtube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.